Okay, so now you can see I've got a nice acoustic guitar ready to go, and I've plugged into the additional six voices. Um, all we need to do to do that is simply just press the voicing switch and the LED will go from red to green. So now we get two acoustic guitar voices. The first one is very much a flat response, so it lets the guitar do the talking, so to speak. The second voicing, acoustic number two, is more of a dynamic sound, so it kind of gives it a bit more mid-scoop, uh, and it's really good to bring to life a guitar that might not be uh, as high a price, if you get my meaning. So let me show you those two sounds by just strumming some, some chords. Here's the first acoustic voice. Second acoustic voice. Now we can introduce some effects. So very much like an acoustic amplifier will give you, you've got four choices of reverb here instead of just a couple. You've got four choices of mods, four choices of delay, so you can really spread it out. But let's go for the first acoustic voice, because I prefer that in this moment. Let's put some reverb on, so maybe a little bit of hall reverb. We can get really extra long decay control here. We can bring the level down so it's not swallowing the sound too much. So hopefully you can pick that up there. It's quite a really, really long uh, decay. So. We can maybe introduce some chorus as well, which is like a nice standard setup for an acoustic guy. Quite a nice sound. To be able to get these speakers to sound great for electric guitar, great for acoustic, and the bass guitar, which I'm going to show you, is not the easiest thing, so you do need to check it out. So we'll move on to the bass guitar. <laughs> 